Capitol's Summer 2014 exhibit is See You at the Fair, in which we pay an affectionate tribute to the Arkansas State Fair, which is in its 75th anniversary year of being run by the Arkansas Livestock Show Association. In our four cases, we try to tell something of the history of the fair, some of the attractions that have brought people there, that have created memories that they take home, as well as reminding people that at its base, the state fair, once you get past the corn dogs, once you get past the midway rides, it's about livestock. It's about something serious. By the middle of the 19th century, you see state fairs throughout most of the northeastern states. After the war between the states, the custom moves to the west. Uh, we see a few state fairs operating in Arkansas in the late 19th century, but the first one that's well documented takes place in 1906 down in Hot Springs. And we have a wonderful artifact of that year. We have a horse blanket, a muslin advertising blanket that was draped over tram horses pulling the cars through the streets of Hot Springs, advertising the state fair to be held out at Oak Lawn Park. This is a real rarity and it reminds us of that long connection between state fairs and livestock, especially horse flesh. Uh, there was a hiatus one year it went to Jonesboro, and then for several years during the 1920s, it was held in Little Rock, several years in what of course became known as Fair Park, uh, near today's zoo and War Memorial Stadium. By 1930 though, the state fair as it existed at that time basically ran out of gas. A combination of probably the depression and other factors led to it being extinguished for several years until in 1938 it came roaring back. And I say roaring back because one of the leaders of the move to reconstitute the state fair was Colonel T.H. Barton of Lion Oil down in El Dorado. Now why would an oilman want to revive the state fair? Simple. Colonel Barton, like many other leaders in the state, was worried about the Arkansas agricultural prospects. In the late 1920s and the early 1930s, Arkansas's agriculture had suffered declines mainly because of sags in the price of staple crop. And so Barton and his associates saw the state fair as a great way to promote stock raising in Arkansas. 1938's fair, they lost money on it. It was held a little late in the year, I believe in November, under tents in North Little Rock. Next year it came back stronger though. 1939, they even had Roy Rogers riding in the parade through downtown Little Rock. So early on they understood, you want to promote something? Get the King of the Cowboys in. Roy Rogers became a regular fixture at Arkansas State Fair Days. Over in the corner of case number two, we even have a capital connection there. Um, in a parade from the mid-1950s, you have a, a photo of none other than Secretary of State Crip Hall waving from the back of a convertible in the fair parade. Everybody wanted to get on this one. Now cases three and four bring the story of the state fair into the present day. Case three, we concentrate on the things other than livestock judging, livestock competitions that people remember from the fair. We focus on Barton Coliseum and some of the acts that it has hosted over the years. Barton Coliseum, the, the first year they had it open, they didn't even have a roof on it, but they used it as a rodeo ground. Barton is also known for what happens there outside of fair time. Rock and roll acts, gospel acts, jazz acts, country acts. We have autographed instruments from artists who have played there, including a fiddle signed by Charlie Daniels. Uh, we have historic photographs of the Midways over the years, and we even have photos of competitors in various other non-livestock competitions, uh, such as the Spam Cook-Off. Yes, there is such a thing. And another favorite photo of mine showing a very young Beth Ann Rankin, later to go on to be Miss Arkansas, smiling and showing her prize for the variety performances competition. In case four, though, we remind people of what the fair is all about. It's about livestock. It's not just the state fair, it's also the state fair and livestock show. As befits a livestock show, there's rodeo, and so we pay homage to the rodeo queens, including having a saddle from one of the queens of, I believe, the 1960s. We have award ribbons for livestock competitions. Uh, we remind people of the role that 4-H and Future Farmers of America have played in the fair's livestock competitions. The thing is, 75 years after Colonel Barton and his friends saw this as a way to help revitalize Arkansas Ar agriculture, rather, the State Fair still does this. It's still where young agriculturalists come together to show their stuff, to bring their best in competition. 
and remind the rest of us that Arkansas is still a state with a very powerful and interesting agricultural sector. <laughs>